journey leads them to a place that was once a river, now nothing more than a scar across the desert. Sunlight glints off the cracked white earth, where the skeletons of past migrations lie half buried in salt and dust. Each skull tells the same story, thirst, exhaustion, and the long reach of predators. The living move carefully through this graveyard of their own kind, step by step over the memories of giants. In the distance, vultures rise like smoke, and Carcharodontosaurus watches from the ridge, patient as time. In Africa's kingdom of life, even death has its dominion. While titans struggle below, another empire rules the air. Great wings carve through thermals rising from the desert, their shadows sweeping across herds and rivers like passing storms. Pteranodon, Alanka, and Colobahincus dominate the skies, gliding for miles on wings as long as a bus, diving at will to snatch prey from water and sand alike. Each dawn, begins with aerial duels, talons flashing, beaks clashing, wind screaming between them. For these hunters of the sky, the world below is merely a stage, a feeding ground, suspended between life and gravity. But even here, among the clouds, survival depends on the winds. And when the storms rise, even kings of the air must fall. The drought deepens, rivers shrink to muddy veins, herds vanish into the distance, leaving silence behind. In the emptiness, predators cross paths, enemies now bound by need. Spinosaurus prowls the shallows, its sail dull beneath the burning sky. From the plains, Carcharodontosaurus approaches, ribs visible beneath its skin. They circle the same pool, a mirror that reflects hunger instead of life. For one fragile moment, there is no battle, just the panting of giants beneath a dying sun. Nature holds its breath, waiting to see which will break the truce first. The rains return, gentle at first, then endless. What was desert becomes mirror. What was bone becomes soil again. Grasses pierce the dust like emerald fire, and from the shadows of extinction, new voices rise. Streams refill the delta. Frogs sing beneath ferns reborn from ash. Hatchlings emerge from the mud, small, bright, and fearless, descendants of survivors who refused to yield. Above them, the skies fill once more with wings, and the earth exhales in color. The kingdom renews itself, for even in a world of titans, life always finds a way back to light. Time reshapes the land once more. Rivers shift, mountains rise, and the titans of Africa vanish into stone. Their bones rest beneath layers of clay and memory, their footprints fossilized in the delta that gave them life. But the world has not forgotten. Every gust of desert wind, every spark of thunder over the Nile's distant birth carries echoes of their age. And though their reign is long ended, their story remains written in the earth. A reminder that greatness is never lost, only buried until rediscovered. The kingdom of Titans sleeps, waiting for the day the dust will whisper their names again. <laughs> <laughs>